video guys what is going on it's your boy clash with crowned back with another video and today we are going to be taking a look at how you can increase your fps on your pc for games like fortnite rocket league gta whatever it is that you wish to play so without further ado let's get straight into it so the first thing that you are going to want to check is whether your pc is up to date and the way that you can do that is by pressing the windows key on your um, laptop or gaming PC and just key in Windows Update and you can see here that you've got Windows Update settings so as you can see at the moment I've got two downloads running but um, what you'll want to do is to there'll be a box here which says check for updates you just need to tick that and if there is any updates like mine has, is doing now um, it will start downloading those and once your um, Windows update is fully up to date, it will give you that um, confirmation at the top here. It will say, yeah, your PC is fully up to date. Let's come out of that one. Okay, so the next thing that you're want to going to check is whether your PC is running any programs um, on startup. And if there are any kind of programs which might be considered unnecessary, you can remove those. So what you want to do is press the Windows key again and just enter Task Manager. And then you just want to go over to the start up tab, which is uh, this fourth one across. So as you can see at the moment, um, I have some programs like Skype and Spotify, which um, I've disabled, uh, which means that when I turn my PC on, um, these programs won't automatically launch. But then I've got um, some programs like Discord, which I use quite regularly enabled, which means that uh, when I turn my uh, PC on, um, it will launch the app by default and you can see that that does have um, a high impact um, so if you've got any apps here which might be considered unnecessary and you don't use them that regularly then I would strongly recommend disabling them from startup it won't delete them it won't it will still you'll still be able to access these programs it just means that when you turn your PC on by default it won't open that program up cool so the next thing that you'll want to go going to do is if you have um, a nvidia uh, capture card um, what you're going to want to do uh, if you're sorry an nvidia graphics card what you're going to want to do is download the geforce experience app and you can do that by going onto the internet and just putting in geforce experience and going on to the nvidia website and you can download that from here. Um, I'm not going to download it now because I've already got it downloaded, but um, I'll show you kind of how this works. So if you go ahead and launch that one up once it's been installed, you can see I've got uh, various games in here. So if you go ahead and hover over to the drivers tab, and select that one and then you've got again check for updates so you're going to want to check for updates it's important that your uh, graphics card is up to date because um, there are constantly improvements being brought out to increase your software if you've got um, a good gaming PC or if you've got a good decent uh, graphics card um, so you're going to want to make sure that you've checked for updates you can see here that I've got the latest update so I've got nothing to install but if there is an update for you to install that will pop up here as a new version so you can go ahead and do that before launching um, any of your games you don't need to check this every day I mean a couple of times a month would probably be best to make sure that you're keeping your software in a really good condition um, and getting the best kind of output from your settings as possible so I'm going to go ahead and cross that one off uh, the next thing that you'll want to go into check before we even go into the, any games uh, is to open the NVIDIA control panel uh, and you can do that by uh, going into these hidden icons at the bottom this one sometimes does take a while to load it doesn't take too long on my PC but it might take a couple of minutes um, depending on how good uh, your system performs um, so then what you're going to want to do from here is uh, go into adjust image and settings and then it will probably be by default uh, be set to let the 3D application decide or use the advanced 3D image uh, settings. So what you're going to want to do is select the um, box here for use my preference. And it will probably be somewhere in between balanced um, or, or it might be on high quality. And what you want to do is set that one to performance. 
um, and then you can go ahead and hit apply. Uh, one other thing to mention um, to increase uh, your FPS is to make sure that you've got um, your best monitor um, or you're using your game on your, on your best monitor. So I have two monitors. One of my monitors has a 60 hertz refresh rate and one of my monitors has a 144 hertz refresh rate. So what that means is I want to play my games to get the, the best FPS possible uh, is to play the games on the best refresh rate. So I'm going to go ahead and click that one. And by default, when I got my monitor, which was quite recently, um, it had um, the, gra the Ultra HD um, graphics here set as default so it was set on native which means that I can only get a maximum of 60 Hertz so what I had to do was to change my um, change the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and change my refresh rate to 144 Hertz to get uh, the best uh, possible um, refresh rate which will allow for more frames uh, per second so you can go ahead and do that there and then hit apply if you've um, got a uh, high refresh rate monitor um, and then we can go ahead and come out of this one and now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look on Fortnite if you are uh, playing this game uh, so one way that you can increase your settings further is by changing this within the game so what you want to do is you want to change the um, window mode to full screen um, I'm just going to apply that one there There we go. So I've changed my uh, window mode to a uh, full screen, and my resolution is set as 1920 by 1080 again because um, I'm using that the monitor with the highest refresh rate, so it can cope with these this resolution. If you um, don't have uh, a really good monitor, you might want to reduce the resolution, which will um, decrease the quality quite a lot, um, but it will probably allow for more frames per second. So that's one way. Again, you can boost that if you wish, and you can also play on widescreen things like that to increase your FPS further. Um, so my frame rate I've capped at 144, and that is because I've got a 144 hertz monitor. So really, there wouldn't be any need me setting it any higher than that, or setting it on a limited, because it will just mean that there'll be higher fluctuations um, within the FPS, and it won't stay at a kind of high co uh, concentrated rate. So I've set mine to 144. And then what I recently did to uh, make sure that my um, FPS was kind of highest was to decrease um, a lot of the quality uh, to the different graphics. So um, I've set my quality presets as custom. And then you can see here that I've set my view distance to near, my shadows are off, anti-analyzing off, textures low, effects low, post processing low. So what you want to do is pretty much just set all of these settings to the lowest possible um, option. Um, V-Sync always make sure that you've got this off. Um, you can have your FPS counter off. I uh, would leave motion blur off. Um, the show FPS counter um, is, you can see, if I just come out of this menu, um, the bottom left here, I've got my FPS displayed. So you can see that um, I've maxed at the moment at 144 FPS. And when I go into a game, it would usually stay above 135. Um, so that's, that is pretty good um, for my PC spec anyway. Um, and again, you can go down and just copy my settings if you wish. Uh, I would recommend using the Direct uh, X11 version rather than the Direct X12 beta. Um, I think it, unless you have a really new PC with with top specs, I don't think at the moment uh, Direct uh, X12 is is the best kind of setting to use. So just leave that one at Direct X11, which should be the default. Um, one other thing that you'll want to check is to go over to uh, audio. And you want to make sure that your sound quality is low instead of high. Again, it's just something within the game um, which uh, has been added by a developer, and it just it just means that um, your it will allow for more FPS because by increasing your sound quality, um, it's more processing power for your system. So setting that as low again is very beneficial. And that is pretty much it, guys. So. Um, Go ahead and check out 
these same settings if you use Fortnite. If you're using a game like Rocket League, again, you just need to hover over to the settings tab um, or any game really and make sure that your qualities are set as, as, as low as possible. Um, if you have high specs, you can make some tweaks. I mean, I could still have my view distance as um, far or epic and it still wouldn't really impact too much on the FPS, but because I play competitive quite a lot, um, I choose to have my settings on the lowest quality for the best performance. So you guys can go ahead and check that. Make sure you apply your settings if you make any changes so you don't have to go through and um, completely update that again. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it anyway, guys. So. Um, go ahead and check that out uh, if i've managed to increase your fps at all uh, make sure you drop a comment in the description um, to let me know and if you could like and subscribe uh, to my channel i would really appreciate it so yeah thanks a lot guys and um, have a good one